Welcome to ECLIMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we defined or we stated Ampere Swimming Rule, which is that, that if one imagines to be swimming along a wire in the direction of the current and facing in the canvas needle, then the north pole of the needle will be deflected towards the swimmer's left hand. Now in this lesson, we're going to discuss how to use Ampere Swimming Rule to determine the direction of magnetic field along a conductor carrying current. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to handle few questions involving determining the direction of magnetic field along a conductor carrying current using Ampere swimming rule. So we are going to handle few examples involving determining the direction of magnetic field along a wire carrying current using Ampere swimming rule. But before that, it's very important for us to remind ourselves how Ampere swimming rule states. This rule states that if one imagines, and that is if you imagine that you are swimming along a conductor in the direction of current and facing the compass needle, then the north pole of the compass needle will deflect towards the swimmer's left hand. So in this case, if you have your swimmer here, if this is the swimmer, the all of this is the swimmer, with the left hand this side, this left, then right hand is on this side here, then he's swimming in this direction of current, then if you have a compass needle below here, it's going to deflect like that. So the north pole of this compass needle below the swimmer and below the wire, this will be the north pole and this will be the south pole. So therefore it means from what we discussed in magnetism, this compass needle is used to predict the direction of the magnetic field lines. So here, if the field line below the wire is moving up like that towards the swimmer's left hand, and the magnetic field lines forms a complete loop, therefore this north pole must move from where it is moving like that and join the south pole later. So it means if it's above, it would be moving towards the right hand, and when it's below, it's moving in the left hand side for it to form a complete loop. So we're going to use this idea, entirely this idea, to determine the direction of magnetic field along a conductor carrying current. So our first example here, we are going to determine the direction of magnetic field along this wire, which is cutting through the cardboard from down up. So current is moving from down up along that wire. So in this case, we have two uh, sections of this uh, cardboard. Here, this cardboard, the wire is passing in on top of it. So here is behind the wire, behind the wire. Then here, this is the front, front part of the wire. So in this case, if you are swimming along this wire and there's a compass needle behind this wire, see where we have placed the behind the wire. Now, if you are swimming up, where will your left hand point? Your left hand point will point in this direction. So this is the left hand direction. So if the left hand points in that direction, therefore it means the magnetic field behind this uh, wire from here, it will move to the left behind like that. Then this magnetic field must join from North Pole to South Pole. Therefore it means it must form a complete loop which will join the South Pole like that. And if we complete this arrow so, to, so that we see how that magnetic field, magnetic field moves completely, then we will join like that. Then another field line is that behind the wire is moving to the left like that. And then above the wire, this behind the wire, above the wire is moving to the right. Then finally, we can draw a third field line like that. Behind the wire is moving to the left. In front is moving to the right. So in this case, we have drawn the magnetic field lines along that wire. Let's move to the second wire. In this case, we have the front part. Here, we have the front part of this wire. And then here, we have the behind part of this wire. This is behind the wire. So in this case, if you are swimming from up, down, where will your left hand point? Your left hand will point in this direction. This is the left hand. If you are swimming from up, down, then your left hand will point in this direction. Therefore, it means 
if you have a compass needle behind this wire in this case the magnetic field line will be pointing in this direction like that then this magnetic field must join each other so that it forms a complete loop therefore in front here it will be moving in that direction so if you draw another field lines behind the wire is moving to the left hand side of the swimmer then above it's moving like that then if you draw another field line because we said we must draw at least the three field lines so behind the wire is moving to the left in front is moving to the right hand side of the swimmer so in this case as you can see when current is moving up here we have a clockwise movement but now in this case when current is moving down these field lines are moving in a clockwise direction so it's relatively opposite to each other so the third example that we have here this is the fourth example so the third example is when we have this a cardboard cardboard and also this a cardboard then this a wire and also this is a wire so here we have current which is moving from the left hand side to the right hand side on the screen then now if you uh, indicate the, the front part and the back part of this wire on this cardboard here this is the back part or side of the wire and then here we will have the front part of the wire so in this case if you are swimming from the left hand side here or from left of the screen to the right of the screen then if you move along this wire then your left hand will be pointing in this direction like that this is the direction of the left hand therefore it means if you have a compass needle below you then these field lines will be moving like that below the compass needle they will be moving like that then now when they form a complete loop here in front they will move in that direction like that then now if i add another field line below this wire they will be moving out in the left side of the swimmer then in front they will be moving like that another field line out here below the wire it will be moving to the left hand side of the swimmer then above the wire is moving to the right hand of the swimmer so in that case we have determined the direction of the magnetic field in a complete loop then now let's move to the fourth example so that we see this is opposite now it's moving in a, an opposite direction like the third example here so if this is the current now moving from right of the screen to the left of the screen then we have to identify the front part this here is the front front part where we don't have a wire then here where we cannot see behind this a wire this is the behind the wire behind the wire and now if you are swimming along this wire in the direction of this current now you are swimming from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen then your left hand will be pointing in this direction this is your left hand will be pointing in that direction and in this case therefore if you have a compass needle behind the wire look at where we have behind the wire if you have the compass needle behind the wire therefore it will be moving uh, like that the feed line will be moving like that then now they will join to form a complete loop when they form a complete loop it will look like that then now if you draw another field line behind the wire it will be moving like that towards the swimmer's left hand then above the wire is moving like that another one you draw another field line then behind the wire it will be moving towards the swimmer's left hand but in front of the wire it will be moving in that direction so as you can see this is also are opposite opposite to each other in the first case here example three this current is moving in anti-clockwise direction then on the fourth example is moving in the clockwise direction so as you can see if you reverse the direction of current the magnetic field will also reverse now the fifth example is when we have current moving out of the cardboard like in this case we have current which is moving out of the screen imagine you are inside this screen and then you are swimming out of the screen in this wire which is moving out of that screen like a dot so in this case when we represent a current moving out then this dot represents a wire with a circle on top of it so in this case if you are inside the screen and you are swimming out of the screen where will your left hand deflect to your left hand will deflect in this direction this is the direction of the left 
hand. And therefore, below this wire, remember this wire is coming out. So below this wire here, current is going to, or the, the magnetic field is going to move in this direction. And then above the wire, it's going to move in this direction. Therefore, if we draw now the field lines, uh, we are going to draw the field line along the wire like this one here. We can draw at least three field lines. Then below this wire, we have said current, the magnetic field is going to move in this direction where the left hand is moving. Then above the wire, automatically, if you connect, it will move like this. So in this case, we have determined the direction of the magnetic field along a wire which is moving out of the screen. Below this wire, it's moving, the, the magnetic field is moving towards the swimmer's left hand, and above the wire, it's moving, obvious, uh, towards the swimmer's right hand, above the wire. Then now we can look at the example six. Now you are in, or in this side where you are viewing the screen. Assume now you are swimming into the screen. When you swim into the screen, this uh, wire which represents a swimmer, or the, the wire which is penetrating into the screen. Then now in this case, if you swim into the screen, then your left hand will automatically deflect in this direction. This is the left hand of, your, of the swimmer. And in this case now, if you move in, then it means below the wire, current will be moving in this direction. Then above this wire, current is going to move in that direction. Therefore, if you draw a magnetic field like this, Below the wire, current is moving like that. Then above the wire, current is moving like that. You draw another field line. Below the wire, current is moving like that. Above the wire, current is moving like that. Then we can draw the third one. Remember, magnetic field lines are drawn more than three. In this case, below the wire, moving like that. Above the wire, moving like that. And now look at this. We have totally opposite direction of current. In the fifth example, current is moving out and the field lines are moving in anticlockwise direction. In the sixth example, current is moving into the screen and the field lines are now moving in a clockwise direction. So when you reverse current, also magnetic field reverses. So that will mark the end of our lesson today. I hope it was very interesting. In the next lesson, we will discuss another rule which we can use to determine the magnetic field along a conductor carrying current. And I promise you it will bring the same, same result like the one that we have obtained in this lesson.